Hello, welcome to another video. We're back on Formula One Manager, as you can probably see. Now, I want to carry it on from where we left off. Um, so, if you look on the bottom left or bottom right, either driver, uh, you can see practice goals, a picture of track, that's a percentage of how much they've learned. The green bun is the amount they've learned the actual um, uh, car parts, and the blue one, which is one I'm concentrating on, which I said we'd come back to. You see, it says four or five now. Once it says five of five, which it should do any second. There you go. So the one on the right says five of five. He's basically saying, how is the car? Uh, and he's saying he's struggling and it's getting worse. So what happens there is you have to call the car in, which we're going to do now. And you can reconfigure, which we're about to do. And if you look at the centre of the screen, these are the slider bars that you can move. So you can adjust them, but obviously depending on how good your car is, I think depends on what you can do. So obviously you want them all optimal or good. You can see we've got the two top ones good and the three bottom ones bad. So you need to adjust them slightly. Try and get them in the blue um, as best as you can. Um, and then send the car back out and he will test and find out if it's any better or not. Um, and also while he's doing that he learns the track as we said earlier. So we've sent him back out, we've skipped on a bit and as you can see on this one, look, great, good, optimal, good, good. So that's pretty good as much as I'm going to get it. So now we're going to chuck him out on some tyres and just get him to learn the track. Um, so if you saw that then, he's learnt the track 40%, he's learnt the car parts 89% and he's 77% happy with the car setup. Um, so, and all of those things add together to make him fully um, you know, happy or unhappy as the word, as it goes. Um, so that's what we've got to work on. So now we've done the practice as much as we can and we'll skip to qualifying. As you can see, you don't have to do the qualifying, you can skip it but we're not going to, we will click to do it, but I'm not going to show you, oh, I've cut it really down, didn't want it to be too long, so um, he's done the qualifying, I think, I uh, can't think, what did we do, where are we, oh no, we've obviously done the qualifying, so we're going on to the race uh, situation now, and uh, we're setting the strategies, as you can see, Car one is going to start on softs and then go to hards. And then uh, car two, we're just going to try and pick, I think, a slightly different strategy um, and see where we are there. Okay, so the other car we're going to do a medium stint and a hard stint. These are just a guide, you don't have to do them, you can change it in the race if you want to. Uh, just keep this one fluid and I just wanted to get a bit more out there. So we're now rolling to the Monaco Grand Prix and as you can see there's a bit of chit chat focusing not on our car because we're McLaren's, I don't know what that's all about. Um, and right, so out and the race will get underway very, very shortly. Here we are, lights about to go out. I think we qualified 14th, 15th, 15th, 16th, absolutely terrible. And uh, away we go. 78 lap race, haven't got that many. Um, just again, just try and familiar yourself. Like you can see what I'm doing there on the bottom left. Um, we moved it to attack, burn fuel, and uh, set air as to deploy. Um, you can change these, and if you look, you've got track temperatures and all sorts driver aggression you can see all of that that we're changing uh, but you have to manage that because obviously you'll burn through your tires quicker and uh, all sorts and you've got to do it for both drivers obviously um, so it can be very tricky to balance both at the same time and uh, keep your eye on it but um, that's what you've got to do throughout the race uh, as you can see there yeah we're 14th and 15th in the McLaren there side by side hopefully they won't take each other out you can tick the box to tell them not to fight, um, so hopefully we have, as you can see they're side by side yet again, um, so this isn't doing us any favours is it really, um, which is uh, great, there you go, I'm just going to tell them not to fight their teammate, so um, I, I think I've uh, prioritised the one on the um, soft tyres there, so hopefully um, he will go ahead, so that's how you can do that. 
um, and we're learning the game as we go um, some of it is getting a bit better you will see incidentally that we are in McLaren as we started in Haas um, I just struggled so much so I thought I'd go to McLaren which is a, a mid team and uh, see how we could cope with that and as you can see we're not coping much better because we're still in 14th and 15th place which isn't ideal um, however um, I don't really know what else to do I just want to keep learning the game which is what I'm doing and I'll put up this is a very short video it's only seven minutes um, but I just thought you might, might want to see how we're getting on and uh, what we're doing obviously we are um, looking for some hints and tips um, we've got a few now as you see we sped the race up a bit uh, and you've got to keep an eye on those temperature tire temperatures uh, fuel usage um, so obviously if you burn for it too much you're uh, you're not going to make till the end of the race um, what I am going to do is I am going to abandon my McLaren um, and I think I'm going to try with either Red Bull or Ferrari um, and the reason for that is I think it will be easier because of the cars are going to be the best cars uh, although they will expect you to win but I think that might be an easier way to learn the game uh, and when we learn all the nuts and bolts of the game we'll be able to put that as you can see race is finished and uh, we've finished 15th and 16th so not great um, but yeah I'm thinking that if I race as a top team um, it should be slightly easier and I can learn the game and um, then gradually down the line we'll use a, a different team that may need help um, uh, which will uh, I think be more enjoyable than just using an easy team but I think we might have to so uh, the next video we will be in yet another new team um, and it'll either be Red Bull or Ferrari I haven't decided which one yet and I'll try and put a few snippets up just to see uh, mainly if I've learned anything from it. Anyway, thanks for watching as always. Hit the like if you liked it and I'll see you in another.